All right, welcome everybody to another episode of KC Tool Unboxing. We got some really cool stuff this time. So since this is such a large box, what I'll do is I'll open this off camera and then we'll we'll look at what we got. So I'll be right back. All right, so first up, I got a KC Tool T-shirt. So you, you'll get this for free if you order. I think it's two hundred dollars uh, worth of stuff. Uh, you get a little indicator it says you can put you can get your a t-shirt for free don't quote me on that but i think it's somewhere around there so i picked up another one so next up we got the vera phillips four piece set so this this was just basically to fill out uh, this thing so i already have a set of uh, slotted screwdrivers in this one and i wanted to fill the other side here with uh some Phillips and that'll make this a pretty good general purpose uh, you know electronics type screwdriver set yeah I love how things come in just cardboard boxes like this it makes it a lot easier to recycle wish I, I wish everybody did that but so we got basically the four smallest Phillips sizes a triple zero I think that's I think that's the smallest size. I, I don't remember if there's a four a, a four zero Phillips, but once you get down to triple zero, it's you're talking like watches. And then we also have the double zero. We got the zero, and then Phillips one. I don't think that Vera sells this complete set. You have to basically order in several different part numbers to get this so that might be something they can look at offering i'm sure people would like to have a set that has this 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 combination because you basically are you got every phillips from number one down to three zero and then you got every slotted 1.5 millimeters to four millimeters and that'll pretty much cover almost any any uh, field electronics that you run into unless it's a Torx drive but so that's the Craftform Micro four-piece Phillips set so next up we have the Ghidorah 407 hacksaw this is actually a really really nice um, it looks like it made it totally made out of aluminum hacksaw so we'll have to take a closer look it looks like that says made made in Italy and then the blade made in the UE. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Is that supposed to be EU? Because I don't think any country code has a UE. So let's just take a quick little peek at this. Just for curiosity's sake. So the way you take these blades out, you basically turn this. And that loosens the so you can pull the blade out and then to tighten it back up as a as a really nice hacksaw. So you even got Ghidorah branded right into the into the mold there. But very cool. We'll have to definitely take a look at that in a future more in-depth review. And next up we got the Vera tool check system. So these are I think are are still on sale right now. If you're interested in picking, there's a, a metric set and a inch or SAE set available. So we'll just take a quick look at this. So for the amount of tool, the amount of things you actually get with this set, it's pretty nice. It's basically like one of those craft form sets, but it's a lot more compact and it's a lot more accessible. So it looks like you push on this on this Vera logo. And that pulls out all the bits. And you can see we got some security torques, regular torques, and it looks like we got some uh, special coded bits over here. Or actually, no, those are those are posi drives. So they actually solved the problem with people using posi drives on Phillips screws, which was to make it a different color. So that's not a bad idea. But very nice. It's a very very tiny platform handle there and it also comes with a ratchet a quarter inch ratchet up here we'll definitely take a more in-depth look at this uh, at a later point so now finally as to the reason why that box was so large 
is I got the Vera Advent Calendar. On the back they even show you what exactly you're going to get with this set. I'm not really sure what the plan for this is going to be. You guys are the the viewers, the customers, the end user here. Uh, there's a couple of things I could do with this. Um, one option is to actually open it in real time and do one video a day for 24 days or whatever the advent calendar. Um, so what I may do is um, maybe just split it into four videos. We'll open up one week at a time. And then at the end, we'll do a little mini review of the entire set. And then there's also the third alternative, which is to just review the set and don't even worry about doing any of the advent calendar stuff on camera. So it looks like it's actually in a some kind of transport box right now. Let's go ahead and, and try opening this up. That is probably to make sure that none of the doors come open during transport. Things fall out. You got 24, it looks like little doors uh, to be opened. They're numbered one. It looks like they're kind of random. And I did see that uh, Stall Villa is actually doing a, a advent calendar as well. I don't know if I'm going to get that one. But um, Viha used to do one years ago. I don't know why they stopped. But it's up to you guys. Um, if you guys are not interested in seeing the, the doors actually opened at all and you're just basically interested in the tools, then let me know. Because your opinion always counts. See, it's almost too nice to open up these tours, I feel like I'm going to ruin it. It's almost something you could just hang on the wall like like this. It's good decoration. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. That's going to wrap it up for this one. And I'll catch you guys next time.